Welcome to the SACS training out video for nonlinear foundation analysis. In this video, we will be reviewing the results that we generated from the analysis in the previous video. You should see a few files that have been generated by the analysis. The first one is the PSI listing file, which contains the output from the analysis. The other two files you should see are a PSI neutral chart file, PSI NCF, and a PSI neutral plot file, PSI NPF. These files contain the charts that were requested in the plot request line in our PSI input file. First thing I'm going to do is review the listing file. I'm going to open PSI listing file in my text editor. I'm using Notepad++. Your text editor might look a little bit different. And the first thing we want to do is see if the piles converged for our load cases. So I'm going to select Find, Search Converge. And I can see here that the PSI analysis has converged for the storm conditions and the operating conditions. The next thing we can check is the maximum axial capacity for the soil. I'm going to search for the header, soil maximum axial capacity, here. And we can view the maximum axial capacity for both compression and tension for each pile. The next thing we can review is the pile group summary. So I'm going to copy and paste the header into my find tool. And here we have the pile group summary. The summary will contain a max immunity check for every segment of each pile and also provide the critical load case. Here we're starting with the conductor at the bottom and as I scroll up you can see the maximum unity check increase until we get to the mud line. We also have pile 2 and pile 1 Note that you can see that the um, critical unity check changes between different segments. Now we're going to review the chart file to see the plots that we requested. Go back to your SACS executive and open up the PSI neutral chart file. If you double click it, it will open it up automatically in chart view. And here are all of the charts that we requested. We can see our soil data. This is our axial TZ curve, our end bearing data, and our lateral PY data. Note that this was all information that we input ourselves, but is a good graphical representation for reviewing that information to see if there are any discontinuities or inconsistencies in your soil data. We can also see our envelope of lateral displacement. This is for pile group one. And you can see here that we have both of the segments listed, where we have the change in thickness. And you can see the displacement of our pile. Typically, you want to see this displacement go to zero so that you have a stable pile. We can also see the soil reaction, our axial load, our axial soil reactions, and these are for each pile for each load case. So this is load case operating one with pile head joint 101P. 
This information can also be exported to Excel via the tools, send data to Excel. This is useful if you want to put this information into a table for reporting. This concludes the SACS training for nonlinear foundation analysis. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.